Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and more. The prompt of course this month is puzzled and the challenge this week is a jigsaw puzzle piece. Um, I want you to alter a jigsaw puzzle piece. It can be a large piece like the one that I've got here um, or a smaller jigsaw piece and again for this there are just so many ideas on the internet for you to um, be inspired by. Um, search on Pinterest, lots and lots of ideas D is there and if you google altered puzzle pieces again you'll find lots and there's several videos on um, on YouTube as well. This is the puzzle piece that I'm going to be working on today which is quite uh, it's one of the jumbo jigsaw puzzle pieces and what I'm going to start off doing is sanding it with a piece of paper just to provide a key. I'm going to decoupage um, some mixed media paper on top of this and because it's got a slick shiny um, surface I just want to sand this down to provide a bit of a key so you don't need to be too heavy-handed about this so I'm just going to go all over it I'll do this off screen because obviously this is quite um, noisy but this is all I'm going to do um, you know really really quick nothing major about this and then I shall wipe it down with a baby wipe just to get rid of any of the dust Okay, so my puzzle piece has been sanded down and I've wiped away all the dust using a baby wipe. And just before I move on to the next stage, if anybody's thinking, oh gosh, I don't have any puzzle pieces and you can't get out to the shops. I mean, the charity shops have got jigsaw puzzles, kids jigsaw puzzles in abundance for, you know, a pound, couple of pounds tops. Um, but, you know, you can always download an image from the internet and fussy cut it, you know, just attach it to a piece of cardboard. So use creative license on this. Um, so so there we go. Anyway, I am going to be using some of this collage paper. It's from the Art by Marlene um, collection. And I think this is brilliant value. This is $2.99 for the whole pad. Of course, you can use any scrapbook paper for this. You can do something completely different to what I'm doing. This is just, you know, my take on the prompt. And it is just full of this most gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I just love it. Um, but I'm going to be using this for the background to my piece. Um, and it's really thin um, quality decoupage paper, so it's just perfect for using for collage. So I'm going to try and centralise that um, leaf design there, I think, and glue that on. I'm just going to use regular Mod Podge for that. So let me just grab a piece of jelly paper to use underneath. Here we go. Let's just stick this underneath to catch um, the glue. There we are just so that my puzzle piece doesn't doesn't stick and I'm just going to apply a good po coat of Mod Podge focusing on the edges just to make sure that um, my paper is going to stick and then I shall apply some to the back of the paper as well just um, I find that if you do that it just makes it more sticky and it helps it stick better um, so we'll add a little bit of glue in the center here as well that's the part that I want to um, use there we are that should be enough and then I'm going to stick that down on my puzzle piece now let me just think which way I want this to go it doesn't really matter but I think we'll have that there like that and then I'm going to grab um, a microfiber cloth just to press that down nice and firmly and make sure that it's um, stuck and then I'm going to give this a quick dry with my heat tool and fussy cut this out now I always find that the easiest way to fussy cut something like this is to just go around with a, with a slight border just so that you've got less paper to play with. Let's put that to one side and then just cut around the edges. And then if we've got any loose bits, um, we can always sand them off with, a, with an emery board. No, no big deal. So you can see that my puzzle is all nice and smooth around the edges. I just need a bit more glue there, but that's okay. And I've just got this jaggedy edge just on this um, awkward area here. And it's just a case of getting your emery board in. Um, and it's really quick and easy to do and just rounding um, it off. And it comes away really, really neatly. So that's all sanded and I've made sure that I've glued everything down around the edges in any areas that I've missed and now I want to take another sheet of this paper. I'm going to take this sheet here and I'm going to fussy cut some of the yellow flowers to add to my background so I'm going to cut out some of, of these. So I've given my piece a coat of matte medium so I'm happy with that now and before I do anything else I am just going to go around the edge like this with a 
sharpie marker chisel and sharpie marker just to get rid of those cardboard edges and just edge it and I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to um, mess up on this and um, end up getting it um, on the on the puzzle piece but it's just going to hide those edges and if I get a bit around the edge that's absolutely fine now I've gone around my edges and before I do anything else and just because I think it's going to be easier whilst my piece is flat I'm going to ink around the edges as well just to frame my piece and I am using archival ink for that so I'm just going to go all the way around and that'll sort of hide any areas like this let me just um, ink up my pad where my sharpie marker has just gone over slightly it really doesn't matter so I shall do this all the way around so that's what my puzzle piece looks like now that I've inked around the edges and guys I just absolutely love this before I've even added anything else to it it's just framed it it's just gorgeous and whilst my piece was flat I've also um, used my cut and dry paper just to sand down the edges as well because you can already see that it's starting to look a bit mucky and that will bug me being you know the type of person that you all know I am I'm going to want to finish this off afterwards and so I've prepped it before I've added a, a, anything to it whilst it's flat um, so that's how we're looking at the moment and I am now going to start using some of the images from another piece of Marlene's um, collection and this is the die cut block pack or one of them I think she's got two and again really reasonably priced these are 2 dollars for a pack and it's full of the most gorgeous gorgeous die cuts I just absolutely love these they're just beautiful look at these for 2 dollars I think that's a bargain um, and I am going to be using this flamingo here um, you can see you get two pages of of each sheet in in the pack um, and you can see that I've already um, removed the um, flamingo good grief get your words out Nina and the leaves although I don't think I'm going to um, be using those um, but they come let me just show you with this frame around it and I don't want that so I'm just going to fussy cut um, this out um, and then I'm going to start arranging my flowers um, on my page um, well my puzzle puzzle piece so I'm going to cut this out first and then we can start piecing things together now I've cut my flamingo out and I've got to this this part here the crown and I've got these fussy bits here and I'm just going to snip those off because I can deal with that later um, and they're just too fiddly for me to fussy cut around and I won't get that neat um, finish anyway so I'm just going to snip these off to make life easier for myself so you know if you've got die cuts and you think oh gosh I've got these fiddly bits don't be put off by that because um, as I say we can deal with that a little bit later so I'm just going to continue you finishing it off there we go job job done so that's what um, I've got right now and you can either leave it as it is or you know add some bits as I will later so I've cut, fussy cut my flamingo out and I think that's going to go somewhere like that and I just want to position um, some of these flowers just to add just a bit more detail around my background but the yellow ones on their own just aren't working so I've cut some of the pink ones out from this um, background sheet here but I want another small one and I don't want to um, cut into another sheet so I'm going to see if I can just make something out of just this flower here that will work so I'm just going to just draw some scribbly lines around this like this and just see if I can create another one and you see that's that's working so I'm just going to continue to do do that that's perfect for what I had in mind there we go and so I shall fussy cut that out so I've got my doodle flowers and I'm happy with these now and what I've done is I've just gone around the edges just with some doodly scribbly lines as well just to outline them um, even further and I've done that with all four just to tie them all together. Um, now what I want to do is just go around the edge of my flamingo as well. Now not all of this is going to show but I'm not sure exactly which part so I'm going to use the fine tip sharpie marker for this and just go around the edges it's just going to be easier to get into these awkward areas here than an ink pad and again I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to muck 
muck this up um, and sort of end up with scribble where I don't want it but um, this is just going to help to frame my center piece my focal image now I want to glue my flamingo on something like that so I've got some Mod Podge again where's it gone in fact there should be enough in the in the lid and I'm just going to apply it all over my flamingo again concentrating on the edges so let's just make sure that we've got plenty of glue down and then bring my flamingo back and I want want it to go something like like that there we are so I'm going to make sure that that's glued down and again I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I'm just going to trim it off the same way as I did before around the edges now I think my flowers are going to go on there something like that I've cut another one I didn't want to tuck into another piece of this collage paper but I've decided that um, my flowers the composition wasn't quite uh, quite right so I've made another one of, of these flowers just from that bit there um, before I glue them down though and whilst I've got space without bits and pieces being in the way I just want to shadow around the edge so I'm just going to use a charcoal pencil and just add some some shading so I'm just going to go all around like this and just smudge it with my fingers just so that it doesn't look as if this piece is just stuck on so you can see I've highlighted around um, my flamingo um, and now I just want to glue my flowers on so again I'm just going to use some Mod Podge I've got my piece of deli paper here at the ready and whoops it is I've just got way too much on there and again I'm just going to glue these down and as soon as I've done that I'll be back I just absolutely love how this looks and I think I just want to add a little bit of glitter to my flowers so I've got my wink of Stella this is the clear so I'm just going to add that over the whole of the flowers and then I just want to add a little something to the centres, I think. And then just as a finishing touch, I want to add some micro beads. I've got some silver ones here. They came in a pack from Tiger. Um, I think they were, oh, I don't know, two or three pounds. I've had them for, for a while. I haven't used them a huge amount, but I want to add some to the centre of my flower. So I am just going to add some dots with my glue pen like this. Let's add some around the outside and we'll just see if I can get them to stick just be random about it Nina try not to do too much with pattern I'm just going to add some to that flower there as well there we are now I was going to tip them on on a piece of plain paper but I've gone and grabbed a tray because I can just see that these are going to end up flying around all over the place and I just need something to catch them. So let's put a few of these on like that. Make sure I've got plenty of them because I can always pour them back, back in. And I think that's just going to add the finishing touch to my to my flowers. Um, let me just press those in. Just try and get those to stick. And I think I'm going to leave those be for just a couple of minutes. Do you know, I love the way that they've settled around the edge like that. I'm wondering whether I should perhaps add some glue there. Mmm, I don't know. I'm going to see what this looks like when it's um, when it's dry. Now I don't know whether you can see this but the beads have stuck I presume where I've added the wink of Stella and I just absolutely love that I just think that's just so random and gorgeous and I just hope to goodness they stick like that I just tipped it upside down just to get rid of the excess beads and that was what um, I ended up with how pretty is that now I was so desperate to preserve um, the beads on those flowers I've added um, glossy accents um, in fact it wasn't it was the Mod Podge um, what's it called uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and I'm not a fan of this as you know because you just get loads of air bubbles and I've had a right song and dance with this um, but I've done it and that's why I haven't shown it on camera and it does have a tendency to spill out as well and what I've had to keep doing um, 
um, is grabbing a paintbrush. Hang on a second, where's the paintbrush I was using? Um, because I can see some more spilling out here and just mopping it up from where it's spilling out of my, my flowers. But it's okay, I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, now, I want to use some of my Nouveau drops just to finish things off. And then I'm just going to have to be patient and set this off to dry. I want to add some little jewels to my crown. So I'm just going to add that like that. Now whilst that's setting, I am just playing with my Nouveau drops in the white and I'm just adding some dimension to my flamingo. Just following the lines that I've got here, just to add a bit more dimension to it. Here we are. I love these drops, I just think they're so versatile. Do I want to add some to the mouth as well? I've added it to the eye. I think I'm just going to carry on following the lines from the mixed media paper. There we are. And shall we add some here as well? And you can go as thinly or as thick, thickly as you want with this stuff. It's just absolutely brilliant. I just love that. Okay, so my glossy accents has dried and it's done the job. These are all held in place. I just absolutely love this. And where it had spilled out here and I tried to patch it up and it was shiny, I've just gone over it with matte medium um, just because I have this shiny area here that I didn't like and it's done the trick. That's worked perfectly. Um, I love how these are raised. That's just wonderful. But I feel as if it needs something on the crown. So I've got some um, stickles here and in fact, actually, I need Need to um, add a pin because it doesn't want to come out. Let me just um, poke a pin in it. Here we go. Um, and let's see if we can do something with this. Add some glitter to that crown. So I'm just going to go over it with a bit of glitter. Just follow that, that line. And actually, I don't know whether I just want it around the edges or I want to fill the whole, whole thing in. So I think I'll go around the outside to start off with and see how that looks and then I can always fill the centre in if I, if I want to. I decided to add stickles to the whole of the crown in the end. It just looked a bit strange to me just um, as an outline um, and that's now had a chance to dry so that's what um, that looks like and you know the glossy accents just looks gorgeous. Um, you can see as well that I have punched a hole in the bottom of my piece. Which one did I use? I used my crocodile and it was the smaller hole punch I used um, and just to get rid of the cardboard lines I've just used um, a sharpie and I've just got on like that from the front and the back. Now you could see that the back of my jigsaw puzzle was a bit messy um, and so I've just painted it with a coat of black gesso and I like using gesso because for one it dries really really quickly. Um, it's a lovely matte finish and it only needs one coat as well which um, just you know it makes speeds things up it makes life easier and you can see that I've added a couple of further embellishments to my piece and um, let me just put it this way so that I can get it um, in frame for you. I've added a little hanger and I'll show you how I made that in a second um, and I've also added a bead charm. Now this is just an acrylic bead and I have lots of perfumed reed diffusers all around my home that I usually buy in TK Maxx um, and quite often they're decorated with beads and really pretty embellishments and that was um, what this was off um, you know so I always save those um, and I just think that looks really pretty hanging from the bottom of my jigsaw puzzle piece so I've just attached it I've punched a hole with my crocodile um, which went through the puzzle really easily I used the small hole punch and I've just used a jump ring and some silver plated craft chain just to um, attach my heart now this little hanger here is ever so easy to make let me just um, show you how I did it you need something to use something round as a mandrel so you know a large paintbrush is absolutely ideal or you know a small round bottle um, and just 
a piece of craft wire this is now what's this 20 20 gauge craft wire and I just wrapped it around my paintbrush just to create a round shape like that so you'll end up with something like that and then you'll need some pliers mine are round nose pliers just to pinch it out like like this um, and then all I did was I created a spiral. So I grabbed my piece of wire um, in the bottom of my, my pliers and it's just a case of rolling it up on the outside. So make sure you get it the right way round. You can see I'm rolling it on the outside. And then I just took some bent nose pliers just to help continue with that spiral all the way to the top. Now if you want to add beads, these are just pewter coloured um, seed beads. Um, if you want to add beads, now's the time to do it. You just thread them on um, over, over that end. But a little tip for you, make sure that you don't add them right to um, the bottom of where you've created your spiral because you want enough space to be able to put attach this to the back of your jigsaw puzzle um, so that it's not... Here's, here's one that I made earlier. Um, just to show you what it looks like if you don't add any beads, you'd end up with it sort of right on the edge of your jigsaw puzzle. And of course, there's more chance of it falling off. So I like to position mine um, a little way down. So of course, you only need the beads sort of around this, this part here. Um, so that's a little tip for you. Um, and then of course, you just um, continue your spiral on the other side um, in exactly the same way. So that's what it looks like with beads. And that's what it would look like if it was um, play. What else have I done? I also added, you saw me add the, the stickles earlier, I decided to fill um, the stickles in and go full hog and then I've applied a coat of dimensional glue on top as well um, just to give it even more dimension and I just love this piece, I'm so happy with it. Let me just hold it up this way for you. So I'll show you some close-ups at the end. I really look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to um, interpret this week's challenge. So altered jigsaw puzzles, and you know you can do a large piece like this they even come in in you know even bigger sizes or you can do you know miniature jigsaw puzzles entirely up to you and as I say just there are loads and loads of ideas on Pinterest and if you google it as well I think there's videos um, on YouTube for you to watch for more ideas and inspiration um, so I look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to come up with if you enjoyed this as always um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.